Hey everyone, it's me, Kyle, and it has been an actual while. You may not have realized this, but I haven't been able to film in quite a long time, and that's mostly because I've completely gutted my studio, removed a lot of all the clutter and all the um, excess that didn't help me film more. So now I'm on my way to a brand new studio, a brand new setup, a whole bunch of new title cards, animations, all that good stuff. And a lot more content will be easier to put out in 2023 because of all these huge changes that I've made. This is a long winded thing to say. Mackenzie's not here today and she's actually going to be gone for a few weeks, but um, I have no doubt she will return and we will continue doing My Little Pony reactions with her. But in the meantime, let's finally get to this episode, which I believe is season six, episode 14. So let's do this. Pony, I hope you brought your thinking caps because today we're going to learn about physics. physics. Those are fun. I'd rather build the fastest cart there is and win the race. You think that'd be her prerogative? Look, I'm yeah, there sure you go. Rainbow Dash will take that award. You know, I race around so much on my scooter. Oh, how Texas about that? Isn't such a big deal. Will you help me make my race cart? Help I never understand how there's over. solid surfaces that hold up things. in the clouds. Actually, I was kind uh -huh. of something else. See how this uh, goes. Fastest? Apple bloom. Things aren't like I expected they were judgment. The fastest car yeah. now has got to be slick and modern. Exactly. And not Apple at all. I didn't know you'd be huh. this excited. Me? Oh, well, I'm just This is unexpected. From long, long ago. I was positive I was going to win the prize. Mm -hmm. Hooks <laughs> down, hanging in second. <laughs> second. <laughs> you? Second from most creative? That was amazing. Yeah. One wants to make it fast. I hope you're ready to get when they really want tomorrow. it to be creative. Uh, how early? One wants to make it traditional when the smaller one wants to make it fast. And then one wants to make it creative yeah, when the other one wants to make it traditional. Oh, apples. Quit complaining. It almost sounds like they're planning yeah. on building them without us. I'm sure no. they meant our car. They did not. Like the team car. I mean, I know all about speed already, so... Exactly! It's all about speed! We've got to get across the finish line to win a prize, so we might as well get there first, right? This! No! I mean, it ain't quite finished yet. Oh, good. But don't it have the makings of the it's best cards you ever did see? Yeah, you're not listening. Is something wrong, Apple Bloom? Wait, I was kind of thinking of something a little more... Alright, that's good. Less rickety. Bless my hooves, I thought we covered this! No, tradition is all that it's cares. not. And who knows tradition better than Apple? So are you an Apple or are you an Apple? I'm an Apple, but what if I just take off this fringe? No, no. Why, shoot. Now I've got you know what? You need to it's stop. Race time. Oh, so maybe we can redesign it then. And who would want to redesign something that's already perfect? Right. Perfect. <sighs> it's amazing to me that the, the, the okay, adult so or teen or ideas. older ponies are so clueless sometimes in fact we just finished maybe you guys should just trade carts <laughs> she should just take apple jacks right <laughs> i love how smooth that pain just replaced it oh, come on doesn't look like any of us ended up with what we yep. wanted but i'm sure our older sister no It'll still be fun to drive them to That's the finish nice. line. Sure, the race is the best part. The left of this creative mess. Aren't you so happy you. you ruined this for them? Whoa, Must be so proud. Ponies, wait for me, and I got the passenger seat all warmed up for you, Apple Bloom. Passenger seat? Mm. And uh, usually the younger ponies drive the carts. <laughs> Darling, do these look like usual carts to you? Mm. Must be so proud. Here comes the joke. <laughs> oh my god. My beautiful swan card is an ugly duck. Beheaded. And my old time 
card as a rootin' tootin' wreck. It still counts as a win if I push my card across. Your right? cart, once again. There we go! <laughs> Finally. Huh? The derby was supposed to be for us, not the three of you. Now you've got mm. it for every pony. Well, why did you say anything? You've all done the race before. I just figured you knew best. Plus, it's hard yeah. to speak up to older ponies. But you mustn't think older ponies automatically know best. And we probably could have done a better job of listening to you. I guess we owe all three. Yeah, kind of. The least. Maybe not just us. Saying sorry is just the first step, though. <laughs> um, how do you feel about a do-over? That's very that's gracious of her. That's a idea. But maybe the older pony should sit this one out. Derby racers to the starting line! In all actuality... All the rest of the racers would have just been angry. Or, in all actuality, they wouldn't have been given the second chance. Get set, go! What are we supposed to do now? I think I have an idea. This is the most relaxed I've been all day. It's weird that the traditional got in front. <laughs> just saying. Oh, no, wait, she didn't. Okay, good. I was going to say. <laughs> right, ponies? <sighs> I mean, the message was clear from the get-go, wasn't it? I mean, <laughs> the three of them, they, you know, they got to live their glory days again is what it was. But they got caught up in their excitement that they overlooked the importance of what was really going on here. I think the biggest message that should be taken away here is... And even I still to this day need to work on it, and I do, is there's this assumption that if you're older, you know better. Or, you know, best just to give people an opportunity and a chance. And it really made the three younger ones really open-minded and seem kind of emotionally intelligent in this regard. But it also it screwed them over because sometimes you need to stand up for what you believe in and what is right and what you want because in this situation they were not selfish they were being selfless were they upset yes but they weren't fighting back because they wanted to trust their older sibling slash um <laughs> hero i guess um so they 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 just let it happen. And at a certain point, they finally snapped, but they probably should have not snapped, but they should have not let it boiled up in the first place. And they should have just come forward and told them how they felt. And even when they sort of did and they got pushed back, they got to push back themselves. In the end of the day, it was their race and they let this happen. But the older ones also weren't very respectful. I think the one weird thing about this is while the older ones are technically the wrong ones for the most part in this situation, the ones who really needed to be blamed were the younger ones because in life, no one will notice when you are being stepped on or you're, you're, you're being screwed over by them. No one will notice. No one notices that they're screwing you over. All they focus on is their excitement. And so... It's kind of a hard lesson, but I think in the grand scheme of things, you have to stand up for yourself. You have to. If there was a world where people were fully respectful of each other, then yeah, I would say the blame is all on the, the older ponies. But in this case, no, you need to stand up for yourself. This is something I've learned the hard way myself, but I, you know, like I said, I'm still learning it. It's just an unfortunate part of life that that people don't look out for you no matter how screwed you are getting you know no matter how screwed over you're getting they just will keep screwing you over and it's not because they mean to it's not because they're mean-spirited or they don't they don't want you to you know succeed or be happy it's just they're focused on their own stuff i probably would be in more movies and stuff today had i not listen to certain people who claim that they knew what was best for me because i mean a lot of those same people when i when i talked about how i wanted to get back in acting they laughed at me 
They're like, aren't you a little too old? And it sucks because I've wanted to be an actor since I was four. Now, if I had stood up to them and I just stood my ground no matter what, and they will continue to, to knock you down or to dismiss you or to ignore you in favor of what they think is right and what they think is best. This is one of the, the interesting things that I've come to find is that opinions aren't always right. <laughs> they usually aren't. Um, and everyone has a different opinion. No one knows better than others. Are there certain situations where, of course, yes, I'd rather a doctor uh, perform surgery on me than a dentist, but, you know, not everyone who claims to know is necessarily the person who knows what's for your best interest. And so, yeah, I think... I think that's what the lesson should be. If it's not, then, you know, that's the takeaway that I'm getting and I'm putting out there. And I think it's important for people to know that there is something to the whole nice, nice people finish last. And in this case, um, that is what sort of happened here, right? So you have to stand your ground. You have to say what you want. And it's especially hard when you're young, right? Because you're you're insecure about your own opinions. You don't trust your own best judgment. You're told constantly that you're not in control. You don't have power. And those who don't have as much power tend to feel like they should apologize or that they're wrong somehow, or they doubt themselves. And I think these three we're very lucky that their teacher gave them a second chance because in all actuality, in the real world, that that would never happen. It wouldn't. And that's really nice that they ended this episode that way. But I really, yeah, I think in the grand scheme of things, they would have just been screwed out of getting to do what they wanted to do and missed their opportunity. And it sucks. In, in, in the real world, this would suck. So... All right. Anyway, I've been rambling enough, but I, I love the episode. I love what message I think should be pulled from it, whether it was intended or not. Um, but but yeah, um, what do you guys think? Uh, what was your message that you got pulled from here? Hey, by the way, guys, if you didn't know, um, you know, for those of you on YouTube, we have a Patreon. You can check it out at patreon.com slash fan theory TV. It's how we stay afloat. Uh, these days, it's more how I stay afloat. <laughs> there are still a few of our, our hosts left, but we are going through a huge transition so that we can put out more content or I can put out more content. Um, but I hope that we get your support in some capacity. We have many different tiers, many different options, some cheaper than others, including a standalone My Little Pony tier for um, for much cheaper than doing like the whole fanning out tier. There's lots of great things to, to look through, to peruse. We have a merch store as well. Um, you can probably check that out in the links connected to this uh, to the YouTube, or um, you can always ask me and I can send you a link. Anyway, I can't remember at the top of my head right now, but it's been great uh, as always um, fanning out with you. So yeah, fans out.